how will you be getting on with your co-driver today, second day? Second day with a co-driver, well we've had a good chat and uh, we've had a chat over breakfast and I think we've ironed out our differences, um, so um, with a bit of luck, um, hopefully my authoritative figure and demeanour will probably get the right results and the right kind of actions and responses back today. Oh, okay. And what do you think she'll say to that? Um, there's two words, one of them probably being <laughs> off. Uh, the others I'll leave to your own imagination. <laughs> so. Oh, okay then. All right then, Roberta. Well, we'll catch up with you later. Absolutely. Morning, Karen. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Uh, slept reasonably well. Had a really, really comfy bed last night. And, uh, was it a nice place? Yes, it was. Uh, nice little hotel. Uh, just been flashed by a UK Ukrainian. Oh, that's nice. That's on lovely. The road. That's good. That's only the second thumbs up flash that we've had since we've been on the road. And they had Ukraine aid on the side as oh, well. Oh, did they? Yes. Oh, I missed that. Oh, yes. I wish I had have seen that. That's lovely. In fact, it's quite surprising, isn't it, how many um, vans we have not seen um, that, that are heading is... towards the Ukraine. Absolutely. That's actually the second vehicle that we have seen. Um, that in. pertains to anything to do with taking aid to the Ukraine or whatever. Yeah, and that's in how many miles that we've travelled? Um, we've travelled over 500 miles. And what's your plan for today? So, we have just left Aachen, uh, which is just over the border of uh, between Belgium and Germany. And we are planning to try and get to Vienna. That's our... Um, destination. And how long is that going to take you? Uh, according to the sat nav, it's 500, it was 600 miles from the hotel. Uh, we should get there for quarter past six, but that doesn't take into account fuel stops and brakes, etc, etc. So it'll probably be about eight o'clock this evening, and it is what now? Nine, nine thirty. So it should be a lovely route for you today, see lots of nice landscapes. Yes, lots of nice landscapes. We're going to pass Cologne, uh, Frankfurt, Nuremberg. We'll cross the border around about Passau, uh, go past Lands, and then hopefully reach Vienna by the I'm boring is yeah. the reason why I've got to get not yeah, going because friends. you find you find tunnels interesting I find tunnels bridges this bridge here that you're missing look if you just span that round oh you see, oh, you, see you missed it that's just so sad and it, it's stuff you're like so that sad. you know 
looking at the architecture. Yeah, the architecture's lovely. Yes, I but mean, bridges know. is part of architecture. Tunnels yeah, is architecture. Who's going to want to listen to And you the fact that I like that, should that be the thing that discriminates me from having a relationship you, with a woman a just spotter. because I like tunnels You're and a bridges? Plane I'm a plane spotter, yes. Exactly. I am. Who's going to want to listen to that? Well, I don't know. Apart from another guy. Well, you never know, you know, maybe, maybe there is the perfect plane spotter woman out there for me. But you, you never you know. You need more than a plane spotter woman, Rob. <laughs> really? Yeah. And, and what's that? And then? we all know that. <laughs> you need some bloody superwoman. Superwoman? To, to fulfil your criteria. Yes, because, because there are many boxes to be ticked. I can see a tail of a plane over there. It's just so sad, it's unbelievable. What do you mean I'm sad? Man? Why are you pointing it at me? Point <laughs> I'm it filming at me. you. <laughs> because there's nothing to see because it's pissing down with rain. That's why. There's nothing to see more. But don't matter. It's just the thing. It does matter. The DOP is you've got to take it. This would be an opportunist. Okay. Follower, people get sick watching that. Look, I'm sorry, but I'll do a sign for you. How about that? Do a sign. There's nothing to film, Rob. Oh, that's nice. That's an interesting bit of signage. Oh, I saw uh, Munich for the first time on there. This is where the planes go over here. This is a taxiway. Right. Well, there's no planes, is no, there? No, I know, but this is underneath. We're going underneath the taxiway. How cool is that? That's a good shot going through the tunnel. Yes, Rob. I'm sure your viewers will really, really like Bad points? Well, there are others. I'll make a list of them tonight. <laughs> yeah. And we'll go through it together. You won't have enough fucking paper, that's for sure. Yeah, exactly. I know, I won't. Mr. <laughs> Moody. So fucking moody. It's unbelievable. Whoever watches this, you never want to travel with Rob because he's the moodiest, most aggressive person to drive with. He gets so cross. Especially at me. Am I the most yes. annoying person in the world? You are, yes. Um, Do you think you are? I know that I'm an absolute pain in the ass. Mm. Um, Definitely. And I know that uh, I'd be incredibly difficult to live with. Yes, but definitely. But at the same time, I mean, I quite like myself, you know. It's a good job. Yeah, because no one else does. Exactly, that was the most right out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway, enough of me. Anyway, it's boring. Enough of me. <laughs> oh, look, it's not a big yellow lorry it behind me. It could be a Ukraine one, it's blue and yellow. Oh, this is so boring, I'm so bored now. Okay, play some music then, oh, Miss DJ. Alright, 
How come we've not had any music? Oh, because I don't know. I'm bored of my music. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Whoa, well, look at that. Big where's bridge. The nice, where's the nice bits of scenery? Well, we can't because we're in a fucking cloud. That's why. Serious, serious face, glasses. Does that mean you're cross, Rob? Why are you cross, Rob? I'm just a little bit disappointed. I can't, I can't lie. Why is that? Well... What's happened, Roberto, that's made you so disappointed? Well, my curiosity and my inquisitiveness, which, you know, as the years have gone by, through my half century of years, has proved somewhat troublesome, but at the same time has got me out of many situations. And that inquisitiveness of chatting to a nice English gentleman with his Land Rover and caravan at the petrol pump next to me, and him mentioning the word vignette, inspired oh what is that pray tell i ask myself so i ask my colleague when she's not being a teenager on her phone and with much harumphness and throwing her hands in the air and everything like that begins to then go onto google and find out what vignette is we have now discovered that we need a toll pass before we can get on to the Austrian motorways. So has that upset you, Rob, today? Well, it's put a slight fly in the ointment because I knew there were tolls and I was just presuming we could just pay the toll at the barrier, but apparently that isn't the case there. You need to have a sticker displayed and so we need to buy one of these before the border, ideally, from a service station in Germany. Well, I'm sure your co-driver is absolutely on it. <laughs> well, uh, thank goodness she did some Googling and has discovered what it is that we need to do. So actually what you're saying is all that time spent on her phone was time well paid for. Well, no, because the time spent on her phone was with me having to prompt the question, because I'm such an inquisitive bastard, that is what is a vignette? What is a vignette? Okay, well, I think we've uh, actually exceeded this conversation. Now, yes, and, uh, absolutely. It's 